fire on the mountain. The Friday now, I then say, I hear, pop, 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 pop. Me look, me some, me see some people outside, and they must snap and stop. Me say, I call a man, Samson, what happened? He say, what happened? So free. When I look up, Michael, oh God. What is it like to have to leave your home not knowing what it's going to be like when you go back? Well, it's very hard. I, the first day of the Sufri blow, I cry a lot. Knowing that I'm out and don't know if, when, if I will be going back there and so forth. It's very hard. The evacuation order for these families to leave came from here, the Belmont Observatory. The day before the eruption. This shows a whole day's worth of data. That's the day before the eruption. And this is the day of the eruption. And then basically, bang. How important was the evacuation order to happen then? Very. I think we were very, well, I can't say lucky, fortunate. It, 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 it worked, OK? Because one of the big dangers from this volcano is what we call pyroclastic flows, which are these avalanches of material that fall down the side of, of the volcano. And they basically destroy everything in their path. But yeah, this is one of the major eruptions in the Eastern Caribbean um, that, that we've ever known sort of thing. So it, it is a big eruption. Despite challenging times, there are many on the island coming together to help those displaced. Dan Kaplan is one of them. He's from the UK, but his mum was born on the island. Along with fellow singer-songwriter Marlon Rudette, they've been raising money for people in need. I'm a musician, so I've been asking other musicians and people I know in the music industry to uh, help out. And it's been an amazing response. And we've had the likes of Jess Glynn, Ella Eyre, Tom Walker, and rudimental, plenty of other artists come of stepping up and sharing awareness and donating money. So the UK government initially gave, or said they're going to give £200,000 um, to help rebuild and to help this situation. What do you think about that amount of money? I mean, even as an initial investment, that to me that seems quite small. Um, and it calls into question really like what the point of the Commonwealth is in 2021 when the wealth isn't coming to the common people that need it right now. Like, you know, we, we, have, we have the Queen on our money, we are proud of, of that Commonwealth, but right now we're not seeing that support that we need. Lord, and I know that my Redeemer lives. Back at the shelter, 81-year-old Stella is singing her favourite hymn. Despite being stoic all day, the lyrics begin to take their toll on the rest of the family. Far away from home, not knowing when they'll be able to go back, their lives on hold. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 